What's up, Metalheads? My name's Jamie. This is the Blades and EDC channel, and thank you guys so much for being here. Uh, if you're new, please consider subscribing, and if you enjoy the video, hit that like button for me. It helps the channel to uh, grow and get pushed out to new viewers, and we're uh, pushing ever closer to that 1K mark, so uh, I really appreciate it. And to all you new subs, I really appreciate you guys being here. Uh, got a new knife for you guys to take a look at today. This is the Off Grid Knives Black Mamba V2. Uh, this is one of Off-Grid Knives' uh, more premium models, uh, M390 blade steel, titanium frame lock, with, uh, they call this a hexagon milling, and uh, makes sense. Uh, looks pretty cool. Reminds me a lot of the milling on the, um, on the Rockwall Golf, um, which, those are more circles, but, you know, has a similar look to it with that. And this, this, uh, Titanium has been coated here. I'm not sure if it's PVD or DLC coating on the titanium, but whatever it is, it looks good either way. Uh, the blade is uh, uh, deep, uh, DLC coated, or is it PVC? P PVD? I can't remember. I don't know. I can't remember. I read up, up on it, but it slips my mind at the moment. But coated blade and coated scales, and uh, really good uh, EDC si size knife, in my opinion. Not too big, not too small. For my hand size, just perfect also the ergos man that's one of the things you guys know i'm a stickler for this one has fantastic ergos um doesn't look all that ergonomic honestly when you look at it it doesn't look bad it doesn't look good it doesn't look uh, looks almost neutral but it just fits my hand really well feels really good in my hand um yeah good good uh hand filling size for a medium size hand um and like you see with four fingers on there again with these uh, kinds of scales where it ramps up in, at the butt like this, if your hand's big enough to where you're going to go over that, you know, it's probably not going to be comfortable for you. But I would say a large side hand, size hand could fit on this pretty comfortably also. So um, no uh, finger choil on this one. So this is your grip. There is nowhere to choke up. Um, yeah, this is also, this is another knife that was sent in by Q-Ball. Q-Ball, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Let me check this one out. This is one I'd never heard of before, never seen before until uh, till I got it from Q-Ball. So... Um, I've seen a lot of knife, off grid knives, knives, but I had never seen any of their more premium models. And uh, this one's pretty, uh, pretty sweet. Um, I do have a couple little complaints, but I'll get into that in a minute. First, let's go over the specs of it and do some size comparisons. Um, get back down here to my list. All right, blade length is 3.2 inches. Uh, blade thickness uh, is 3.95 millimeters. I do not know what that uh, converts to in inches at the moment because my calipers broke, but I have a new set of calipers coming in from Amazon soon. So um, uh, blade uh, steel is M390, uh, HRC is 61. Uh, black wash finish on the blade and the titanium. It's a Warncliff slash clip point blade. It's kind of a, like a modified Warncliff blade, I would say. Some people may call this a sheep's foot some because it has a little bit of belly to it. But on their website, they call it a worn cliff slash clip point. So uh, we'll go with what they call it. Uh, handle length is 4 inches. So your overall length is six point or 7.2 inches. And the weight on this one, I do not see on their website. So we're going to weigh it real quick and see, uh, see what it weighs. Um, it's not very heavy. I'm pretty sure there's some milling inside these scales. It feels like there would be as light as it is. Yeah, there's a lot of milling inside the scale, so I'm going to guess 3.6 ounces. Ah, 4.1, heavier than I thought. 4, 4.1, so yeah, not, not too bad. Uh, pocket clip works very well. It is reversible, right hand, left hand tip up only. This is a flipper only, although, uh, I, again, this would be one that I think would benefit from some thumb studs. If they were ever to decide to release this model with some, I think it would work very well. Um, the detent on this knife is fantastic. They did a great job on the detent. You can that thing just thud in there. That's the coating. It doesn't give you a ting because it's coated. But you get that thug. I'll bring it up to the mic and let you hear it. Yeah, nice snappy detent um, this one's more of a light switch uh, because of the shape of the slipper trying to push button it you can do it but it's not very comfortable because it comes to a point there but the light switch works really well um, one of my uh, complaints on this knife and this is kind of kind of concerning a little bit not really concerning but it makes me think about it because you go to their website and look at this knife you know they got a quote up there and in that quote it says a uh, jimping on top of the blade is perfect for any fine detail work um, 
this jimping is not jimping. <laughs> this is more for aesthetics because there it provides no jimping on the top of the knife. You get zero traction from this, so um, it's not a bad thing. Uh, it would it definitely would benefit from some actual jimping up there. But what I find concerning is that they're putting that on their website that you know this is jimping on the top and it works really well because it does not work well as jimping, not at all. Uh, it's not jimping, so. Um, it's more for aesthetics, like I said. And I think it does look good. Uh, it looks pretty good like that. But yeah, don't expect to get any traction on this with your thumb because you're not going to. Um, ergos are really good. The pocket clip completely vanishes into your pocket. Pocket clip works extremely well also. It is a little tight, but not terribly tight. Um, no tapping. When you tap it, you don't get any... Uh, clicks there so it's firm to the scale it goes in and out of the pocket really well it is flush mounted as you can see on the for the left hand side the screws are flush mounted and they've milled out the scale so it sits perfectly flush um, when I say it's tight it's just going over going over the uh, seam on your the top of your blue jeans pocket it goes over it fine but it is a little tight until it gets past there but it holds really well in the pocket it rides extremely well in the pocket so um, size comparisons real quick since I just had it out here, here's the uh, tactile rock wall. Very similar in length, although this is a much thicker and uh, uh, wider, just a bigger knife. More of a good uh, user style knife. Uh, here's the Benchmade bug out. So, got a lot of thickness on the bug out. Uh, let's do some more of the regulars that we normally do. The QSP Penguin, very similar in size and blade shape, although this is a true Warncliffe. This is a modified Warncliffe, so, or a Warncliffe sheet point, as they call it, or a Warncliffe clip point, as they call it, call it on the website. Um, here is the, uh, let's go ahead and do the Sheepdogs, the Mini Sheepdog and the Regular Sheepdog. Here's the uh, Regular Sheepdog. So, quite a bit smaller than that. And here's the mini sheepdog. It's kind of right in the middle of these two. So if I line the butts up, you know, kind of right in the middle of those two knives. A lot of people have these knives, or one of one or the other. So, give you a good idea on the size. And let's go ahead and do a couple of the other regulars here that people will recognize. Here is the Spyderco Yojimbo 2. And here is the Dimco AD 20.5. So, yeah. Almost identical in length to the AD. And, I mean, this, these two right here are a very good comparison in size. Overall size and everything. Although the uh, Mamba, the Black Mamba is a little bit thicker than the AD 20.5. This one is modified, but the scales are the same thickness as the uh, factory scales. So it didn't add any thickness to it. It's just a hair thicker, not by, actually, maybe it's not. Maybe they're the same. Let's see, it's turned over this way. Yeah, it's just a hair thicker, maybe a millimeter thicker than the uh, AD 20.5, so. Um, action on this knife is really good. Um, for a flipper only, it's really good. The uh, lock bar is a little stiff. They don't give you a cutout here to get to the lock bar, but you've, it's so wide that you got plenty of room to get the meteor thumb in there and get to it. Um, it's not bad stiff, it's just a little stiff. Um, this is on uh, ceramic ball bearings for the uh, pivot and has a ceramic detent ball and a, a still lock bar insert. So, lockup is fantastic. This one's at about 30 to 40 percent. And it just, yeah, it locks up really well. It has a great sound to it also. I'll bring it up to the mic and let you hear it deploying. Oh, I missed it that time, sorry. Trying to hide underneath uh, the camera here and all the wires around. So, great sounding knife. Great looking knife too, in my opinion, and great ergonomics. Um, I, I have not cut with this knife so uh, or sharpened it. This is not mine, so I won't be doing that. But I have seen nothing to suggest that there are any issues with their M390. And at 61 HRC, it should be, should be great. Should be a great uh, blade. Should hold an edge for a long time and take a very, very sharp edge. And this one already has an extremely sharp edge on it. 
yeah, it's it's really sharp. So, and it doesn't look like it's been sharpened. I think this is the factory edge, but I cannot say that 100%. But at first glance, this definitely looks like a factory edge to me. And it's actually quite of a quite a steep angle. I don't know what the angle is, but if this was laid back a little bit, you'd get even a, a uh, sharper edge on it. But yeah, flat grind here up about three quarters of the way of the blade. Um, I do, I do like this blade shape a lot. That's one thing I will say. I really like this blade shape. This would be great for any uh, push cuts or detail cuts. I mean, you don't have to lift it up too high to get to the tip. But uh, another thing, one of the reasons I'm not a big fan of flippers is because that sticks out. You know, so if you want to get down to doing chopping, even though this has a little bit of belly, it doesn't have enough belly to really get down there and get, you know, the majority of the edge against whatever you're cutting. So you're going to have to lift it up. Just use the tip to do that type of cutting. Um, which is okay, but you know, that's one of the reasons you guys may be wondering why I'm not the biggest fan of flippers. That's why the flipper gets in the way um, of getting down and getting, you know, chop more of the chopping action. action. So overall, I really like this knife. I look to see if they make any other variations because I think this would look sick if they had just like a, a blasted titanium scale. Um, so, something you could do some anodizing on with these, uh, with this milling pattern you could do some sick anodizing on this knife and i love the fact that they continued it onto the show side you know like uh you guys recently saw another knife cue ball sent in the weak height fin beautiful milling on this side and they anode it blue but they didn't continue it over you know so um i'd be fine with this knife they knocked the price up 20 30 dollars and milled this side also right it just looks so much better when a knife looks you know, the same on the lock side and the show side. At least in my opinion it does. I definitely prefer it. So, and I can't appreciate that they did that. Now, the MSRP on this knife is $250. Although, if you look around, I have seen, uh, they're currently sold out on where I saw them on sale. But they, these are in stock right now at the MSRP, which is $249. And that's at Off-Grid Knives. But I've seen in the past, these have came up for like $199. So, you can get them a little cheaper. Uh, if you if you're patient and look around um, yeah great great ergos that's the bigger that's the big one on this one for me it feels extremely good in hand and similar to the rock wall this uh, milling here gives you a little extra grip on your fingers when you're when you got it in hand it definitely provides traction on your fingertips while you're holding the knife yeah. all right guys I think that's gonna wrap it up if you have any questions leave a comment down below uh, if you own this knife let me know what do you think about it um, I, I really like it. It's uh, it's done extremely well. So uh, I hope uh, I'd really like, like I said, really like to see them release one of these where the scales aren't black washed. Maybe even do a, a stone wash blade or a satin blade also would be pretty cool. So, all right, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, hit that like button, and I will see you guys on the next one.